All right, so the Nintendo Wii U has been around for four years now. Time flies. And a report from Japan's Nikkei uh, claims to shed some light on its future. Joining us to talk all about it is Lauren Hawkinson from The Next Web. How's it going, Lauren? Hi, guys. Going well. Awesome. It's great to have you here. Uh, so what are we hearing about the future of the Wii U? Yeah, so it doesn't look really good, to be <laughs> honest with you. Uh, Japanese newspaper Nikkei basically said in a report that it was looking like Nintendo would be winding down production of the Wii U uh, sometime this year, which means that um, the hardware console itself will stop being manufactured, and that'll be that. Wow. Okay. So, um, so it looks like 12.6 million units sold with the Wii U at this point. Uh, is that a good or a bad showing for the for the console? Well, in terms of numbers over a lifetime, especially a console's lifetime, that's fairly low, especially when you consider the success of the Wii U, which was incredible. I believe it ended up in total was more than 100 million units sold around the world. Oh, for the first Wii, it, yeah. Uh, yeah, for the first Wii. Uh, had it for, you know, forever. So, you know, that's really not a strong showing, especially considering that um, its little console, handheld console buddy, the 3DS has sold over uh, 50 million units. Wow. Okay. This is a lot lower. Um, would this would this be the end to the production of just the console, do you think? Or would, would games still be produced? Because I know there, you know, many times the console's retired and even for, you know, a number of years, games are produced for the console. Yeah, exactly. Uh, for example, Microsoft still supports the Xbox 360, which is more than 10 years old, I think, at this point, which is remarkable. Um, yeah, I think that what you see in the latest generation, especially when games are released, um, a lot of third-party uh, manufacturers, software developers decided that they would continue to support the Xbox 360 and the PS3, um, even though um, you know those are uh, those production lines are winding down, um, as well as the Xbox One and the PS4. Uh, Nintendo is actually historically very good at backwards compatibility, so it's likely that they'll probably continue to do software offerings until their next big console comes through. Um, which maybe this year, maybe next year, nobody's really quite sure. There's been a couple of rumors that it's much further along than many people think. But all in all, I think that it's probably safe to say that they will continue to support the Wii U um, software-wise, uh, at least for some time. Hmm. Lauren, are you a, a personally a Wii U fan? Is it something that you do on your free time? Yeah, and I, I can look, my little Wii U is like uh, on its little base charging uh, right by my television. I love it. I, you know, pop it off and I like to play my little Mario Maker. It's so much fun. But I also bought my Wii U uh, last year, Black Friday, for a rock bottom sale, which I would say was probably the best value. Um, I like to believe that there's kind of that, that maximum efficiency value point where your console, the console life is... Uh, so far along that the price is good and then based on the number of games that it has right. uh, it becomes this really great value and i've been one of those people that's like that the wii u you know hasn't been a strong console but it's got some great software on it and it could really provide a value especially if you have a family but if it is true and nintendo will be shutting down the production line it's really hard to recommend a console uh, knowing that its life is being cut short um, do we have any, so you mentioned a little bit about the kind of the successor, which, you know, we're hearing the name Nintendo NX. Do we know anything about it beyond just that at this point? You know, not really. There've been some rumors floating around, um, and also a picture of a controller. Uh, mm -hmm. some people are indicating that Nintendo will support a higher resolution, uh, than the, than the Wii U. They, they might you know, hint at some sort of motion novelty still within the product. But right now, it's still pretty amorphous. Nintendo likes to keep those things locked tight. Lauren, is motion control dead for gaming in your sense, if, if in the next iterations and what we'll see? Oh, absolutely not, because motion control is now becoming a crucial part to VR experiences. So what you're seeing is, especially with the dawn of the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation VR, you can pop that headset on, and then you have your motion controls um, the PlayStation VR, example, for example, uses the PlayStation camera and their branded move controllers, which have been out actually for a while now. So you'll be able to sort of have more natural movement while you're uh, playing VR, which I think is really the key goal, right? You don't want to sit 
on your couch and have a headset and play with a controller. You want to actually, you know, pick things up and move things around and shift things. And I think that that is really where motion control is going to be a crucial part, especially of, uh, in VR, but also in general console gaming. Nintendo's always been a budget family option. Mm -hmm. And with uh, VR coming in, how do you think they'll be able to compete at the price point? You know, I think that Nintendo has sort of shoved itself, uh, shoved a wedge between itself and the Microsofts and Sonys of the world and sort of said, hey, this is really what we do. We've been doing it for a really long time and we're not going to change anytime soon. You're still going to be able to buy your console and get your Mario and have it be, you know, easy enough and friendly enough for your five or six year old to play. It's not going to be, you know, too much of a, of a learning curve. But we'll also have some games that are going to be really valuable for people who are experienced gamers. It's just a different experience. I don't think that they're really going to be chasing after uh, what other companies are doing. That's never really been their style. I think that it's more likely that they will continue to explore these new and novel options for family gaming rather than sort of relying on this, uh, you know, VR or, or any other kind of uh, new and trendy uh, novelty wear in terms of consoles. Yeah, kind of like avoiding the race to the top, high spec, does everything, you know, is it's the future gaming system for the next 10 years. That hasn't proven to be kind of Nintendo's strategy over the years, it seems like. Exactly, but you can also argue that it's proven to be a little bit of a, a tough spot for Nintendo as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Wii U is on purpose completely different from what people were expecting when it came out. And it is completely different from the PS4 and the Xbox One, and its game library is totally different. And a lot of people think that uh, Nintendo's walled garden, as it were, has uh, made it very difficult for uh, games to really get in there, especially by third-party developers, um, that either you like Nintendo stuff or you don't like it. And if you don't like Nintendo stuff, you don't want anything to do with the console. Right. So I think that, you know, it's it's interesting. It's, 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 an, it's a part of Nintendo that, doesn't look like it's going to be a huge success. But on the other hand, you know, their handheld console, the 3DS, um, has a novel concept built within it. It's a it's a dual screened handheld with a 3D component, a passive 3D component. Um, and still, you know, people love that machine. So I think that, you know, Nintendo is actually willing to play a little bit of hit or miss, um, believing that it'll strike the next big gaming novelty for families. Yeah. Well, real quick, before we let you go, uh, have you had a chance to try out Nintendo's new social network, Mitomo? Mitomo. Mitomo. Unfortunately, I haven't, but I've been waiting with bated breath, of course, because Mitomo is one of those weird and wacky Japanese uh, style gaming experiences that she really, it's going to be an interesting um, you know, thing once it comes out in the U.S. for the iPhone. For those who aren't familiar, uh, Mitomo is the app that uh, Nintendo was putting out. It's first iOS app. It's currently released in Japan, and within three days, it had more than one million downloads. Uh, it's a big deal um, out there. You know, it's such a small population, so it's 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 been the top of the charts there. But uh, more or less, the 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 whole object of Mitomo basically is that you are a little person in your phone. You have a little person in your phone. It's your your me avatar. And it goes around and it visits people and it says really weird things and you do quizzes and it doesn't make any sense when you explain it. But once you download it, you sort of get it. It's like a Neko Atsume cat collector. It's like mm -hmm. you know it's Japanese and super weird and you don't know what the rules are. But once you start doing it, you can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually was able to install it on my Android device and played around with it at the end of last week and then realized I know nobody else that has it installed, mm -hmm. so I kind of hit a wall. Yeah, there I am. There I am, <laughs> with obviously, because I've got an umbrella, a fork, and a chair uh, behind yes. me. So. It's awesome, and it's really based off of, you know, a lot of people argue whether or not it's sort of a, a mobile take on Tomodachi Life, which yeah. was uh, a game that was actually released for the Nintendo 3DS and was similarly wacky. Uh, but I think that if, you know, if, if it really gains traction in the U.S., it'll probably be something that's that's really fun, but you will not be able to explain it to your friends. Yeah, I have a hard time explaining it to uh, viewers. So or to me. <laughs> uh, you did a much better job explaining yeah. it than I did. <laughs>